here today with uh, Sam Karamian, CEO and founder of Big Block, a good friend and a compatriot of mine. Um, <laughs> you like that word? Yeah, that's a good word, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, so, you know, it's it was been just my intention, just, I went online over the weekend, Sam, and I looked at relevant content like out there on YouTube and podcasts about the current market and the economy. And I found none. The sure. only, the only content, like even like the big guys, Ed Milet, um, all, all those kind of people, they're just playing their old stuff that they've had probably in the hopper forever. Nothing new and relevant. And, you know, I, being a real estate professional, obviously, I was looking for some good content to try and fire myself up. We do that stuff, right? I mean, I'm, I know everyone does. And there was nothing. I said, so here's an opportunity for me to talk with my friends, put it out there for all of our agents, and just something out there. And, of course, you know, there's a ton of stuff on the Facebook um, groups you did the quarantine convention and lab codes and real closures there's a ton of stuff there but it's just there on the facebook group and i feel like most agents don't know about that so let's record a bunch of content put it out to the hemisphere because i really just want to help people because i have conversations like you do every day right yeah i think that's a good idea and i also think that 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 shows the content opportunity opportunity for agents. Um, one of the guys at our escrow company, uh, just on his own, came up with an idea where every day he's posting the local market stats. How many new listings? How many new pendings? Uh, and it's that simple data that, that before we never cared about. As, I mean, we cared, but not to the degree that we do today. Not daily, right? right? Um, not daily, but it's, you know, and, and I think that it's motivating the agents that follow him because they see that transactions are still happening and, and things are still moving. There's, there's obviously been a little bit of a dip, but not enough of a dip to be overly uh, freaked out as long as you're, you're, you're staying somewhat active. Um, but I think you got a good idea there, dude. If you make that, that relevant content that, that isn't out there right now, um, you're just going to go so much further than you would with regular content. And I also think just doing regular content is good. I've been repurposing a lot of old stuff. Something else I've been doing, I don't know if you have noticed in the group, is uh, I just downloaded an audio recorder on my phone and I'll do like one to three minute riffs on something somewhat motivational, talking about the current times. Uh, and then we put that over B-roll of stuff that we've collected over the past four years. <laughs> And it's working really well. And I'm getting text messages from people, um, really appreciating it. And I think that all of us have the ability to do the same thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we can dive into content because that's something, you know, I've learned a lot of that from you over the years. You were the first guy that I knew who was a friend who had a camera person <laughs> um, hanging <laughs> out. Um, so, um, you know, you're in San Diego much different market than Sacramento where I am. Um, just kind of a macro view. What are you seeing happening there in San Diego today? Um, we're seeing a definite slowdown. Hold on. I'm having people try to break into my room here. Um, there's <laughs> definitely been a little bit of a slowdown. I'd say maybe like, did you need to get in here? No, she's oh, crazy. Maybe like 20% reduction in volume of deals. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I thought my wife was trying this to This is real her. life. This is real this life. Is real life quarantine living. Um, so maybe about 15, 20% reduction in volume of where we would normally be, um, which is kind of similar to like a November, December, right? That's right. Just uh, earlier. It's like the Christmas market. Yeah, it's, it's like the Christmas market. And and for, you know, people like us that don't live in the snow, I was talking to Sharon and he made a really good point the other day. He's like, dude, like this is a lot of the country 
you know, they're snowed in for weeks, sometimes months. So, you know, just pretend like you're snowed in, <laughs> um, which is, I think, an interesting perspective. But the, the reality is that uh, people that need to sell are going to sell and people that need to buy are going to buy. There's going to be more hurdles and, uh, you know, just pieces to the puzzle today. Um, but I think that for those of us that keep our head on straight and, and try to stay active, there's, there's deals to be at. Yeah. Obviously be safe. Be safe. Yes. Take yes. every safety precaution. So, and you know, we talk about a hundred times per day. Um, so, um, we're experiencing up north in Sacramento kind of a similar slowdown. Um, do you, what, like, what are some, so you hosted this quarantine convention. It was three days, right? A bunch of speakers. You had some big dogs on there. Um, what, what are the couple of the top ideas you're seeing from other agents out there and people that you talk to, people like Sharon, people like the top agents of Big Block? And just your friends? Um, well, I'd say the number one thread from all the speakers and everyone in my world that's staying active right now uh, is content we just talked about. Everyone's going hard on content. I mean, you're seeing everybody doing these online seminars. You're, it's just like right now is the time because the attention is there. Um, and the idea for content for us as agents Sharon shared a really good idea. I think it was at quarantine convention where he's like, look, you don't have to like invent content. Just go into your emails and look at the questions that your clients were asking you about specific things last week, last month, and just go backwards and make a video about that. Uh, what does this mean? How long do I have for this contingency? What happens if this happens? You know, you, you, there's a lot of content that need that can be made just off of the conversations you're already having and looking in your email box will help. Second thing is everyone's talking about going heavy and communicating with your sphere of influence. I, uh, I, I'm sure you guys have talked about it right now is the time go heavy with them. I'm not necessarily saying you should call and ask for business, but you should call and just check in and see how they're doing because when this is all done, they're going to remember the people that were there for them and the people that oh. were present. Um, uh, a couple other things that stood out is reaching out to cash buyers in your local market. So have your title rep, or if you have like Kent Clothier software or whatever, um, you can get lists of the people that have bought houses cash and more than one house cash in the past two weeks, two months, whatever it is. And start reaching out to them and building a relationship saying, hey, you're probably, you know, looking for certain types of deals with this whole thing going on. I, I wanted to see what you're interested in. So if I find it, I can start making connections and help you stay in the game, uh, et cetera. So I thought that was a really good idea. Just building your cash buyer relationships and database right now. All the data is already there. It's just your, you reaching out to them and, and, making the conversations. Um, I'd say another thing that a lot of people talked about is just keeping your head straight right now. I think it's never been more important than it is uh, for the past few weeks and next few weeks that uh, we're just putting positive stuff in our brain as much as possible. Um, what I've been telling a lot of people to do is take four 15 minute mindset breaks throughout the course of the day where, you know, set your alarm for every three to four hours, whatever works in your schedule, and just get the hell out of what you're doing um, and pop open a YouTube video, something inspirational, read a good book. Like, I've pulled out all of my books, dude. I have books, like, laying around everywhere right now. Uh, and any, any downtime I have, I'm, I'm just trying to digest content, get my head straight. Um, and a couple of things that I've done that's really worked for me well on the mindset side is uh, there's an app called Calm. I don't yep, know if got it. it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. I've never meditated. I don't, you know, I've heard a lot of good things and I don't even think that I'm necessarily meditating with this app, but I will tell you that I can throw that thing on for 10, 15 minute session and I just come out of it feeling a lot better. 
Totally. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, everyone's adjusting, but I'd say the biggest takeaway I had is people are going to fall into one or two categories at the end of this. The people that allow it to ruin them or the people that allow it to be their opportunity to find opportunity and become better. If all this thing did for any one of us was, let's just say that, okay, you don't do any business, which you, you can if you wanted to, um, and you're tied up in the house for the next 30 days, whatever it may be. If all you did was come out of this better than you were before you went into it, that's a freaking win. You know, like if you're working on your skills, working on your database, working on your marketing, uh, working on your mindset, your mental toughness, all these things, and you came out of this better than you were before you went into it, you're winning. I think that that's, man, super true. And yeah, everything you said is, I mean, obviously we talk all day, so yes, but um, I mean, just an example, like yesterday, uh, I went through my past client list. Um, my personal right deals that, that I did, I sent them all a bomb bomb video. I didn't get a bunch of replies, but it, it felt good to go in and talk to these people. Number one, I know that I was productive, right? Which feels good, especially when you're locked in at home. And um, and it just felt good to check in people with no like intention of sales. Right? How yeah. are you doing? I know that your dad is like in his 90s. Is he safe? Is he healthy? Right? Um, let me know if you need something I'm limited to because I'm not leaving my damn house. So, yeah, good. Yeah, uh, I love it. So, agents, your agents, do you, do you know any who are like, who have found a creative way right now to crush besides what, what we've talked about? Like, do you know any, I, I know, you know, your Mike Ferry calls you his son. Is, is, is anybody in that circle? Like, do you know if they're crushing it with expired calls still or Fizbo's or anything like that? Um, you know, Mike's telling me that expireds and for sale by owners are working better than they normally are. Um, everyone's home, obviously. Uh, and this is a thing, you know, if, if someone wanted to sell a month ago before all this shit went down, they really want to sell right now. Oh, totally. You know what I mean? So I think that the, the people that were motivated are now only more motivated. The buy owners right now are probably way more confused than they were before. They need your help way harder than they did prior. Uh, and the same thing that goes for buyers. Look, dude, like if, if you're a buyer, if you're a landlord, I mean, if your rent is up or you just moved here or you're in whatever, like whatever of the reasons that people need to move, like if you're motivated, you're really motivated. You're trying to get in your damn house and deal with all this in your new place. Um, so I would say expired by owners right now are something that we should all be doing. I really think that we should all be really heavy in our database, like we've talked about a few times. Um, and a couple of things, campaigns that I've seen working pretty well right now is, uh, doing a list of different takeouts or delivery options in your local market and sending that out to your database. Look, it's not earth shattering, but it's something that adds value. They can remember and win with. And it's a Another touch. Camp and it's just it's a, a touch. touch. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I saw a couple campaigns running. Uh, I think Jesse shared them from call action. I don't know if you saw it, I but it you know, an image <laughs> saying, Oh yeah, I might've sent it to you. Yeah. Image saying, Did Redfin or Zillow or any of the uh, uh, buyers cancel your, your buy right now? And, you know, reaching out to them that way. Um, there's just, at the end of the day, it's all about making noise and being active. Yeah. Just being visible right which is always the case but now i mean so um the cost per click on social is way down right it's like super bargain so yeah it's probably 30 to 40 percent down on average so make some content 
And if you don't know how to post it out there with some juice behind it, with some with some money behind it, look it up on YouTube. There's plenty of those, right? Just yep. put something out there non-salesy because people are home and you have the attention like Gary Vee always says, right? It's all about trading attention. So, um, yeah, I, I guess we pretty much covered everything. You have any crazy plans? You going, to, going on any big trips? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to go to Hawaii in about three weeks. So I, that sucks. Christine and I have a paid for trip to friggin' Italy that I'm calling and canceling today. So yeah. I'll, I'll get like over 10 grand back. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, <laughs> I guess, you know, um, you know, kind of a, another question that uh, I was thinking about prior for people's individual like lives and finances what's like a couple pieces of advice that you'd give them there there's something that um, that we've talked about but i mean if you were if you were a, just an agent at big block or maybe on a team or had a team small team what would you do to fix your own finances in this kind of time well, number one is I wouldn't seize up. I would not seize up. I wouldn't get paralyzed by the fear and the uncertainty. Um, I would say if, if you feel comfortable and safe, like I would, I would be trying to stay active as much as possible. Um, in addition to that, I would really look at cutting uh, unnecessary expenses. I mean, you're, look, you're probably just saving money by being at home. I know I am. <laughs> right. Like just not paying for daycare, being at home, not going out, you know, like not going to the bars you know, all that stuff. It adds up. Um, in addition to that, tomorrow, we were supposed to do it today, but it got rescheduled. Uh, my friend Vinny from War Room uh, is going to be doing a live with us. And if you're not in the big block group, I will uh, in the main big block group, that's what will be hosted. Once it's done, I'll share it into the uh, into the BBR North group. But if you're in there or if you want to join, just go ask. At 1 o'clock tomorrow, uh, he did this presentation for War Room, and he altered it for independent contractors. And he's going to talk about what we can do right now to be cautious with our money and also how we can take advantage of the different stimulus options out there for independent contractors. Uh, we're also going to be sending out an email today to everybody, which you'll get, Sunit, you can send it out uh, just kind of with links and all the different options. Uh, I would take advantage of all those opportunities. Um, and more than anything, just don't seize up. Like, don't, don't stop right now. If you have health conditions or concerns, like, obviously, that comes first. Um, but don't seize up. There's people doing deals. And you can be one of them. Uh, and I think that the amount of people that are not active right now is much greater than the drop in production that we're having. What I'm saying is your chances of succeeding right now are actually higher, in my opinion, than they are in a good market because there's way less competition out there proactively. Uh, so for those of us that are willing to, to be active right now, I think that you're going to see a lot of success. Yeah. Don't put your head in the sand, Art, because, I mean, especially in real estate, like what we do now could buy that prime rib at Christmas time. Yep. Right? So, yep. Got to get to it if you're going to get to it. Yeah. Uh, um, those stimulus packages aren't going to pay the bills that much, right? Uh, no. So, any final thoughts, big guy? Um, I would say thanks for having me on for those of us that are feeling positive. Good for you. Stay out there. Uh, you know, be safe, stay active. Uh, for those of us that are freaked out, just know that you're, you're freaking out cause you're normal and you're a human <laughs> and, and it's okay to feel that way. You, you know, uh, a few people reach out to me and they're like, dude, you don't seem like you're bothered by this at all. Trust me. I have my moments like Sadiq sees it. I get freaked out at times. Everybody does. It's because you're alive and you're normal. Um, but remember that this is going to pass. Remember that 
Uh, you are in control of a lot of things right now, even though it doesn't feel like it. Uh, work on your brain. Uh, you know, work on your mindset. If you if you're a prayer, get your prey on. Like, just work on yourself from the inside out, um, and we'll all be okay. Cool, man. Well, uh, good. Well, I guess that's it. Thanks. I'm I'm gonna put this out there everywhere. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to make it a podcast. All right, brother. Okay. Thank you, brother. I'll see you at four p.m. All right. See you then.